Hey everybody, your host AMF1534 here. Let's play some more Donkey Kong Country, and I swear on my life I'm almost done being sick. And before I start playing, I want to give a shout out to one of my faithful viewers. Uh, her name is Kimberly Fuller. I don't know what her YouTube name is, but I do know what her real name is, so I swear I'm not a stalker, I swear to God. Anyways, um, in her, another thing, I really, to you, Kimberly, I hope that you can get that down below 9,000, because that's gotta suck, you know? Anyways, let's do Swanky's Bonus Bonanza. I didn't get to read the intro thing there, but you guys did, so let's do uh, Wrinkly's Winner. What is the... God, they always use this question. It's alright, though. It's an easy one. You clever little monkey. Now listen carefully. What color is your parrot buddy? He, oh boy. That could be bad. I think that he's got the yellow and not the purple. Yes. What is the name of the two companies that produced this game in Donkey Kong Country? It's definitely not Kremsoft and K. Rule Inc. And it's not Rave. The Crazy Quiz. What is the name of the first Wasp Hive level? That would be Hornet Hole, even though Wasp Hive Horror and Horrible Hive would be cool names too, but... Um, the name of the old, the old wrinkly bastard. Or not the, no, not the bastard, the, uh, the old, the old hag lady. Her name's Wrinkly. I kind of gave that away with the name of the last thing here. Uh, which of these items cannot be found on Columbus Kiosk? It's definitely not an oil drum, because there's one, like, right next to him. Uh, it's gonna be that. Yeah! Yeah! Baboon asks for three coins. What is your snake buddy's name? It is not Slithers, but that would be way cooler than Ratley, I think. What color waistcoat does Old Man Cranky wear in the Monkey Museum? Oh boy. Uh, it is... Shit. Green? Yes! I'm still 100%. Which of these enemies have you not yet seen during this area of the island? So we have seen that guy, and we've obviously seen some wasps, so Cat of Nine Tails it is. And uh, Cat of Nine Tails are awesome in this game, P.S. It, it really is. So anyways, let's move along to the Mudhole Marsh, where we will meet the Cat of Nine Tails for the very first and not the last time. Uh, I lost control of my buttons there. Let's get that coin there. So, yeah, I'm... Totally almost over being sick. It's like the best thing I've heard. In basically forever. Ah! With the, this, this is a cat of nine tails, by the way. <laughs> They're like the most innocently dangerous things ever. What you just what you gotta have to do is just avoid you can either avoid him altogether, or if you want to, you can jump on top of him and uh, he'll kinda like wrap you up and he'll eventually throw you in the air. Like this, for instance. Which can be a good or bad thing. If you want to kill him, you just jump on him after he's dizzy. He's like literally the most innocently dangerous enemy in this entire game. Because, uh, the only thing that makes him dangerous is that obviously he can hurt you, but if he's, you know, trying to, if you're like trying to wrap him, uh, have him wrap you up so that you can, uh, make it into like a barrel or something. Oh shit. Oh yeah, that was perfect timing. Even though that barrel did not have a DK label on it. It's fraudulent! Yeah. Sheesh. Yeah, alright, here we go. So I'm actually starting up pretty pretty good this time. I usually just don't do well. Bonus barrel! Yes! We need to get more coins. This is, this is very good. Collect the stars. Again. Uh... Alright. Wow, this has to be the shortest level of this I've ever seen in my life. Alright, we're gonna switch to Diddy because he throws faster. Doesn't have to do that twirly crap with his hair. Yes! First of all, I commend him for being able to jump as high as he does with her on his back. I mean, it's not like she has to weigh that much, but that's, that's pretty impressive in one's defense. Um, so, yo boy, this is me bad. <sighs> Damn it. As not bad as that was. Ah, sugar ant! <laughs> Die, you piece of crap! Oh, now he's dead on my checkbook. Great. I guess I have a bad case of sugar ants in my house now. That's just great. That's exactly, exactly what I wanted. I don't even know why I'm actually doing this challenge right now. I've already done it, and if I really wanted to, I could just die. 
but I don't know. Maybe I just wanted the satisfaction of doing it again. Whatever. All right, let's move along. Move along, little doggy. <laughs> uh, I wonder. No? Where is it? There's gotta be something in here. I guess not. I love these giant reed things. I think I've already said this before, but I just really like them. For whatever reason, I don't know. Ooh. I probably should be using Dixie for this part because, you know, she can glide, but who cares, you know? I got all, all that I need. Ooh. Oh no, there's two of them! <laughs> it's bad! Ah, that's too many. I don't like dealing with multiple ones of these ah, at the same time. Ah, forget the coin, who cares? I know he must be guarding the cannon, and I won't let him! Yes, I want the cannon, and he will not stop me from it. Ooh, Miami, Ohio scored. Go! Score! Yeah! Good job. He didn't score, but, you know, it's still a nice return. Oh, this could be bad. This is, oh, okay, so they do allot you a cannonball at every... At every juncture, shit. I need to go faster than this. A lot faster than this! Yeah, we have 16 coins! I'm abnormally energetic right now for no apparent reason, trifecta. Haha! <laughs> Throw in the water. Because who cares? Ooh, crocodile heads. I wish I could. Oh, for God's sakes, that was really stupid of me. I definitely anticipated those going a lot faster than that. Which is exactly why I should have uh, definitely had Dixie for that part. We don't need to go on the cannonball again this time, luckily, in our defense. Because we've already done it. And that's good. So now we can move along again. And totally bypass that entire part! Whew. Wow. I don't even know how that even worked. Oh! Shit. No! Oh no, he's gonna throw me into the bee. Okay, maybe he didn't. I thought he was going to, though. Wow, Middle Tennessee did score. That was really quick. It's like I knew it was going to happen. I don't want that. Because I don't need it. Trifecta again. Okay, here we go. This is... We're gonna make it work this time. I swear. I promised that I would n never ever be on one level for longer than uh, eight minutes. Which, luckily, in my defense, I have not been on this for eight minutes yet. It's only been about five. No, no, it's been longer than that. But we had a lot to do in this level. You know, you can't you can't bash on me for that. Oh no, forget it, forget it. I don't even want it. What an awesome way to end a level. Keep the chain moving. Oh, that's how you get the DK coin. Holy crap. Okay, well, we're not going to get that right now. We'll do it some other time, since I will be going back through this game eventually to do all that. Uh, here's Clubba's kiosk. Since we can do that, we might as well pay for it. Let's see your doubloons, you mangy apes. Fine. Feel free to use my barrel made of solid gold. Why would he not sell that? Clobber Carnage. God damn it, that's another jungle level. I hate jungle levels. It pissed me off so bad. It's alright. I'm gonna make the best of a bad situation here. Boy, there'd be no point in going down there for that. Right as I do it anyways. Ah! I wonder, do you think? No. Well, I did think, but I was wrong. Uh, how about if you give me a godforsaken thing? Oh no. Oh no! Okay. Sheesh. I really, really hate these barrels with an extreme passion. Why, you ask? Shit. Well, that's one reason why. 
Uh, for whatever reason, my ROM like literally will not allow me to fully control those. Because those are supposed to allow you to fully control them, to my knowledge. I think you're supposed to be able to act actually direct them however you want to. Not, you know, have to sit here and do those in intervals or whatever. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, Shit. I wonder if you're probably supposed to use her for that part, I would imagine. Wow. That was quite the waste. Oh, here we go. Yeah, no. God, this game, this level is just upsetting me already. I mean, they do do an excellent job in like their graphic design for this. Oh no, not the. Okay, we haven't seen the red guys yet in this game, but you need to avoid them at all costs. Okay. I mean, if you have a lot of lives, it doesn't really matter, but. If he runs into you, he will make an extra life, of, or he will make one of your lives disappear. You can still obtain them, but, um, yeah, about that. I guess we're going to have to go up this way. Oh, ah, yes. I am the victor, and I am now dead. Fuck. That was a bad move. A very bad move. And Oregon lost in basketball. At least it was only basketball. Not a huge letdown there or anything. Oh no, you bastard! You're giving me trouble. Ugh, okay. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. We are just gonna do it. No. You guys leave me alone. I'm not giving you permission to do such things as this. Okay, here we go. Just gotta get through it. Extreme prejudice. Okay. These these levels, man. These levels can really, really piss you off. Luckily, this is not the hardest one that there is in this in this uh, set of you know extra levels like this. The hardest one uh, is um, in two zones from now, if I remember correctly. God, that one's so hard. Like I think that I beat it for the first time just a couple of years ago. Keep in mind, this game came out in, like, 1993. So that kind of explains itself right there. Wow. No! See what I mean? Uh... Wait a minute. It still took one of my lives away anyways. You lying piece of crap. I don't appreciate what you did there. Wait a minute. Wow. Boy, I got saved right there. Oh, that sucks. Or, oh, no. Why did it take her name off of that? That was really weird. Let's try that again. Oh, frickin' A. Wow, that's rough. That is a hard, hard barrel to get through. But we will try again. We will. One of these days I'll get through it. Or my name is, uh... Well, it's still me. My name will not change. But my attitude about this game will change, I swear. Gah! I just need to, like, blow through it. That's what I need to do. I just need to, you know, cut the BS and, and get through it. Forget not doing speedruns of, of things. Jesus! It's too chaotic! God, no! It's out of control! God, jeez! Slow down for a second! My god! No! Not again! Oh, wow. That was a frustrating moment in history. That was definitely not what I had in mind. Oh, no! Oh, wow. That was a major, major save there. Wow. Well, that just means that for most of that time that we're so, so close. Ooh, the TNT guys. I do like the TNT guys. Get the fuck out of here. Jeez. I've had enough of you. You can go up there. Come on now. 
there's nothing up there. All right. Why would there be one of these here? Nobody knows. And where'd my barrel go? Uh, ooh boy. Shit. See, that's what I really, really hate. Ab Crap. Oh. So, we become stuck on Clobber Carnage. <laughs> A level that will live in infamy forever because I cannot do it. But we will do it. Just not this time. Because A, I need to go take a shower. And B, um, we're just out of time. So thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2. And uh, stick around for the next one. Where we will hopefully get done with this godforsaken level and get back to what's really important in life and getting through crazy Kremlin. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.